hello. <laughs> um, yeah, it's very straight to the point hello, wasn't it? Um, I got asked what my oil colour looked like before I put the goat's milk or anything in. Um, because my soaps are quite white, even without titanium. And I just wanted to show you real quick at the start of this one, because it's going to be basically a white soap anyway. Well, not completely. Um, uh, yeah, so that's what they look like. They're a little yellow, um, because, you know, not all oils are white. So, there you go. That's what it looks like. All right, now I'm going to add all my stuff, and I'll be back. Okie dokie. So that's what it looks like with the goat's milk mixed in. Uh, and it's now got uh, lye in the bottom. So once I start mixing this, it's going to start changing colour again. <laughs> the joys of soaping. It's just, the, chain, the chemical changes are just awesome. Alright, I'm going to give that a whiz. So you can see now it's starting to go kind of yellow again, but that's just because it's starting to heat up. Alright, that's fairly set up. Now I don't know how this soap behaves. Oh yes I do actually. Let me have a look. Coconut cream. This fragrance performs well. Does not discolor or accelerate. All right. Well, we, we shall see. We shall see what we shall see. As my dad used to say when I was a kid. Which, I mean, it's, it's kind of a stupid thing to say, but sure. <laughs> because we will see what we'll see. Now, I'm going to go so simple it's silly. I'm going to pour off a bit of this and I'm going to do a latte base and then the rest is going to be white because that's what coconuts look like and I have wanted to do a white coconut for a very long time so this is what we're doing boring but I don't care because seriously white soap is uh, white coconut that needs washing up in the washing up basket is just one of those things this is a beautiful color this latte can you see the see the sheen on that how pretty is that it's got like a kind of a golden sheen to it. it's very nice now we're going to add some titanium dioxide to this one first because we always mix the light one first Turn around, please. No, it was around the right way to begin with. I'm just an idiot. <laughs> but then we already knew that. <sighs> oh, now I titanium everywhere. <laughs> I'm not sure what the hell happened there. Alrighty then. Do we have white stuffs everywhere? I probably don't need to add titanium to my mix, but, you know, make sure it's extra, extra white. How is that not the nicest brown ever? Um, I don't know. Again, for those of you who don't watch a lot of my videos, um, the jug of water that I mix, that, uh, that I clean my mixer in, I always put a splash of, um, dishwashing liquid uh, it doesn't have to be any I'm using palm olive uh, antibacterial but that's just because I like the smell and I'm pretty sure it was on special <laughs> I'm nothing if not a cheap ass all right so let's just put a little bit in here and see what happens you can go over to the side there oh it smells so good Oh, it's so good. Kind of. <laughs> that doesn't accelerate my left testicle. <laughs> that accelerates. And it's one of those crazy looking ones that goes shiny. Which 
I don't know what that is. It's really cool though. Some fragrances just do that whole mega shiny thing. So, but I mean, this will help with the pouring of layers. So I'm not overly worried. It's just, yeah, unless you use their exact recipe that they have tested with, you cannot fully expect to get the exact same results because you're not using the exact same recipe. I mean, you know, I could be soaping hotter than they are. I could have um, completely different ingredients, which I imagine I probably do. So yeah, so I mean, you've really always got to take notes with a grain of salt, I guess. Um, like even in the uh, Aussie soap group, people will post, oh, you know, I use this fragrance and accelerated and it was horrible and blah 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 and then you know you go to use it and nothing happens and you're like what what so yeah so always take that with a grain of salt and here's me saying i was never going to soap with bare hands ever again <laughs> and what am i doing soaping with bare hands i am an idiot but this is a smell I don't think I'm going to mind on my hands so much. Although there's quite a few chewed fingers there, so it's probably not a good idea. All right, that's, I'm not going to have any trouble pouring that in there at all. And I imagine this is going to thicken up fairly quickly. So we shall not mess about. It's, it is a nice fragrance. Like it's still got the kind of got that that synthetic coconutty smell, but it is nice. I'm not gonna lie. It's a I think it's because it's more toasty. Ugh. But yes, as you can see, this thickens my my recipe considerably. So, but you know, I use rice bran, which. Can, although I don't use it at a very high rate, but it can um, help to accelerate trace. Uh, well, I wasn't going to do a textured top. What is that? Why is that gross? But because it's a setup so thick, I might actually. Now this looks still quite yellow. So it'll be interesting to see what color it is tomorrow. So I didn't put a lot of titanium in there, but it won't be yellow. <laughs> it will not be yellow, that is for sure. Oh, well, that was a quick soap, 12 minutes, and it wasn't even that because I went off and poured things and stuff, so. This is definitely going to be a quick one for you. <laughs> You're all probably going, thank God you waffle too much. I don't want to watch 30 minutes of, you know, a soap. <laughs> and I don't blame you. I'm going to just go over here and tap this above the cupboard. This part of the bench doesn't sit on anything. So if you tap it down here, all it does is make a lot of noise and doesn't really do anything. All right, um, well, actually, you know what I might do instead of doing, oh, no, let's do a textured top and then sprinkle some latte on it. So let's go, it's very thick, so I'm not getting a lot of movement. Pull those over. Eh. There we go. That'll do. Oh. Well, they'll just have to waste some soap. That'll do, she says, and she keeps fiddling with it because, you know, this is what we do. <laughs> can't help myself. Such a shocker. 
All right, that'll do. That'll do. Stop touching. Now, I need a clean spoon. And a little bit of this latte. Now, when you use these things, just a tip, when you put your, um, your mica in, don't do it over here or over here. Put it over your actual container of mica because it just falls back through. So if it falls back through, instead of making your bench all dirty or whatever, it just falls back into the mica container. Clever, huh? <laughs> Took me a while to learn that because I used to always do it over the bench and always make a bloody mess. It's like, oh, really? I'm just wondering. No, it probably won't work. I was going to say, what I might do is drag it again just to try and get that gold tone back through it. But I think it's a little too hard now. So I might just leave it alone. This will do. This is just this is this will just make it look like toasty coconut. It'll be fine. It's very nice. This thing definitely needs a clean. Let's try the other side. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, all right, this is gonna have to go inside for a clean. I'm watching re-watching uh, Total Recall, the Colin Farrell version. I forgot how good that was. I'm gonna have to watch the the old Arnold version though. Cause you know, why not? What's happened there? Why are you so stupid? Who knows? Oh, look, see, there you go, all over the bench. Let's just make a messy bench. All right, if that's my coconut soap, it's done. Wow. Righto. Okay, guys, well, I will see you very shortly for the cutting. Ta da! Welcome back, my lovelies. I was very, very excited about this. <laughs> It smells a little bit more like clag glue now. It's got that kind of fake coconut. But I mean, just in, like, if you don't smell it up close, it's really, really nice. Like, if you know, someone's giving you a wafts. Um, it has discolored quite a lot, as you can see. I mean, that's not white soap by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, <laughs> that's a white paper towel. So, that's not white. So, yeah, so it does discolour. So if you've been buying this with the view that it doesn't discolour, don't. It is worth it for the smell, though, I guess. Um, it's not worth it for the price. I won't buy this again uh, because I want a white soap. Although, if you put a lot of titanium in there, it may stay white. But, you know, you can get other coconuts that you can put titanium in that stay kind of white, so... So in my opinion, it was not worth the whatever money it costs. So I'll probably put that down on the bottom of the screen. So, But it's, it does smell nice. If you are happy to spend extra money on your fragrances. Let's come over there. Oh, that's hard today. Oh, <laughs> just, I'm just going to fall off. Um, yeah, so this is not a very exciting soap, obviously. I just wanted it to look like coconut, which it obviously doesn't because it's not white. So, yeah, anyway, but, um, you know, it smells good. Um, it's not brown. That's something, you know, I've missed brown here because I made it brown, but, um, I think this will sell because usually they go this color and that color of on a whole soap doesn't tend to sell. So. You know, so maybe it is worth it. I don't know. I'm just a tight ass and don't want to spend that much money on fragrance, I guess. So, I, I guess I'm just disappointed that it's not actually white. So, yeah, well, never mind. Still, it smells good and it doesn't look like shit. Um, if I were to make it again, which I won't because I don't have enough fragrance... I would do this, I would do this about half the size and actually make it look like a, um, a coconut skin and then maybe put a bit of loofah or something in it. Something like that. I don't know. 
but yeah it's very windy today which is awesome because I've been sitting inside well in the 10 minutes I've been sitting I have a house inspection next week so there hasn't been a lot of sitting around doing nothing I've been cleaning up which is great um, but yes I've been watching my um, my new weather station <laughs> It's really good because I can watch how fast the wind is blowing from my office seat. <laughs> I'm such a weather buff. I love all that sort of stuff. So, all right, my friends, I will turn this off and we will come back for the next soap. All right, guys. Bye.